So let's just try one more thing if my max balance calculation is working correctly. So if I hit max, I get this value and let's see if the transaction errors out or it will just clear my wallet. Okay, I didn't receive a transaction hash, so that might be an error. Uh, so maybe my yeah maybe my calculation is not correct yet let's let's see uh, let's reopen um, poly scan uh, let's get it here yes and uh, let's go to my wallet and from here we can go to this wallet uh, okay and we got only this out so the other transaction failed we don't know why it failed so we need to increase our uh, our debug so what we want to do we want to do this debug string as well and read the entire body and this will probably say that I calculated the balance badly. Mm -hmm. Oh, again. I forgot I was copying notes. Uh, let's copy my address. Come on, copy. Let's go. Mm here and let's just run the game go here okay send to this max send and let's see what it read insufficient funds for gas okay so we need to fix the gas calculation let me do it real fast and see what's going on and what is wrong with it oh yes of course uh, gas limit is 21,000, but we need to actually uh, get our gas price and we need to multiply it um, by the 21,000. Uh, okay, and now this minus. So this, this is, okay, this is our function library. So this should work. Uh, let's see if it is calculating based on the gas price. Like gas price is 30 point something. So now if I hit max, uh, I don't see anything because it's an application for ants. Uh, 0 0.2456 okay so this looks more reasonable so if i now copy my address again because i keep on forgetting that oh yeah reject uh, copy i go back to the game i paste it here this is the amount it is valid so let's send and it's a success I should get a balance of zero. Perfect zero. I just sent everything. Okay, so yeah, the calculation was uh, was correct. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we got a working wallet that has all the basic functionality. It doesn't yet display the transaction history or something like that, but we're going to work uh, on how to use this wallet to interact with objects uh, in the crypto space and hold the crypto space as persistent storage for information like cloud storage, but something that you can uh, implement a lot faster and you just have to pay the fees to store the values once, which is like sub one cent fees. And after it is paid, the accessibility to this data is like forever guaranteed on the blockchain as long as the blockchain exists 
So yeah, next example is going to be interaction with smart contracts. And after that, we're going to do interactions with uh, proper tokens, ERC20, 721 and 1155. So hopefully see you guys in the next videos and you like how it's going on uh, right now. If you do, please click uh, like and consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me a lot uh, to provide more content to you. And just for future tests, let's again copy the address and let's go to uh, our wallet. And we want to actually send some Matic coins to this address yet again. And want to send maybe one point again, something very uneven. Okay, this is great. You know what, let's send one because we'll be able to track exactly how much fees we are paying for all the tests that we are running and I bet that there will be very small amount of money. This is like 90 cents. So let's confirm it. Okay, let's go back here. Update and we got one. So with this one Matic worth 90 cents, we're going to do a hell lot of integration with blockchain on a very low price. Um, see you in the next episode, guys. Bye.